Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. Don't be rude, Lana. Introduce me to your friends. Commander, meet the assassins I captured. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Careful, Commander. You'll slip on the fawning Captain Slobber. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advisors of the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line. Both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Is this the thanks I get for helping you recover from Valen's wrath? We're grateful for your help, Commander. But I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. Malcolm's your father, Theron. What do you make of his offer? He's right about the Republic. Valen nearly broke them. They need this. The Empire suffered too. We alone supported your battle against Valen, and we paid for it dearly. Now, the Republic wants to deliver the killing blow. You once served us from the shadows. Now you can step into the spotlight. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokov. Why should I side with either of you when I can strike out alone and take the superweapon for myself? Iokath is extremely dangerous. As strong as we are, we won't survive a week if we're fighting both armies for control of the world. Especially with the Eternal Fleet stuck in the mud. We can achieve great things. But only if we work together. Say the word, and my forces will join your offensive. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Republic. Glad to hear it. Intelligence should have retired you when they had the chance. Major Quinn, you have your orders. For the Empire! He got away. We'll deal with him later. Commander, the Empire's launched a preemptive strike. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Lana, Captain Dawn, defend this base while we hold off the Empire. May the Force serve us all. That'll teach the imps, gum. No offense, Commander. None taken. Good to finally meet you. Judging by the damage you caused, <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same side. Theron, you're looking good, son. Combat suits you. And small talk doesn't. What's the latest? Well, our base is secured and the Empire's finest are running home to their Empress. Not bad for our first battle as allies. Asina's weakened. If we retaliate now, she won't have time to recover. A solid strategy. If I know the Empress, she's already planning her next offensive. We suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your command. Malcolm and his new ally are no doubt gloating over their presumed victory. You compiled the Alliance Commander's psych profile. What is your recommendation? He is a battle-hardened champion, surrounded by allies and bolstered by the Eternal Fleet. 
Only an unexpected blow will pierce his armor. Then we will endeavor to surprise the Alliance commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Ayakath. What are we looking at? The imps are holed up in their base. Defenses are heavy, but they're not equipped for a prolonged offensive. With our combined armies, we can lay siege to Asina's base and suffocate her war effort. Asina didn't climb to the top of the Sith Empire by being a fool. If we give her enough time, she'll find a way out. Then we hit her hard and fast. Crack the base wide open and stop the imps in their tracks. It's our best shot, and that's why Asina will be expecting it. She'll ambush us the second we enter the base. We'll be trapped inside, running blind, and locked in the Empire's sights. We need something the Empire won't expect. Like an arsenal of Iocath's deadliest weapons. That'll change the playing field. Lucky for us, my scouts found a weapon stockpile nearby. Droid resistance is heavy, but if we breach the factory and grab the munitions, we'll have enough firepower to level the imp base. Ambush or not. You could have mentioned the factory sooner. You were hoping to take it for yourself, weren't you? Not at all. The factory's a secondary objective. It wasn't worth mentioning. Until now. No more secrets, understood? Understood. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Well, let's hope it stays that way. There's no sign of trauma. I wonder how it died. One way to find out. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. What a magnificent world. Even blemished by ruin. And soon it will belong to the Empire. The apparatus is almost complete. Unfortunately, the fragmented data has caused a few minor setbacks. I expect it to be fully operational within the hour. No excuses. Yes, Empress. Victory is almost upon us. Soon our enemies will lie in ruin and glory will be restored to the Sith Empire. Jack. I'd say that's enough firepower to give Asina a run for her money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. That's on. Some of these files have already been decrypted and translated into BASIC. We might have Scorpio to thank. If she's listening, I wouldn't mind the temperature getting bumped up a few degrees. No? Right, well, I can't blame a guy for trying. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Can you control the super weapon from here? <sighs> Looks like I'm shut out. When it went on lockdown, it must have closed all outside access. Looks like Iocast's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. 
what kind of weapon wipes out an entire species and leaves the droids to tend house? Maybe a bioweapon, sentient programming? I'm not sure. Only one thing's for certain. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over ten trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. If the Supreme Commander hears about this, he may try to seize the weapon and turn it against us. My lips are sealed. There. I've downloaded arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? You said it yourself. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Republic. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data and they're identical. I'm confident the Empire received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Who benefits from starting a war? Could it be uh, Cena or Malcolm? We can't rule anyone out. Other top suspects include the Shroud, Darth Jadis, a rogue agent inside the Republic's Strategic Information Service. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Commander, meet the Nova Strider. She's outfitted with the Iocath tech you recovered. Should be a worthy ride to help you lead our charge against the Empire. With firepower like this, the Empire doesn't stand a chance. May it stand as strong as our Alliance. Incoming call. Emperor Sassina, have you called to surrender? On the contrary, Commander. While you were gallivanting across Iacath, my engineers discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Empire. If there was a back door into the superweapon, why am I only hearing about it now? While you were fighting a battle, I was focused on winning the war. This isn't a game, Sina. If you activate that weapon, thousands will die. But I'll save millions of Imperials from the fury of the Eternal Fleet. Surely that's a cause worthy of sacrifice, Agent Benico. Good day, Commander. If we move quickly, we can stop Asina before she activates the superweapon. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead us to victory! Commander, Agent Sean, you're just in time. From this seat, I will harness the power of Iacarth's superweapon and lay waste to your eternal alliance. Step away from the throne, and you can end this war right now. Oh, I will end this war in spectacular fashion. Witness the last gasp of your pathetic alliance. Athena, no. It's beautiful. I see a radiant empire, infused with the Force, built by the Molten Gods. They're gracing me with the superweapon's power. It belongs to the Sith Empire. I've got a bad feeling about this. The Gods sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! The throne is rejecting your input. You've lost your hold on the superweapon. No! I can still see it. I know what I must do. They are coming!
Commander. You were right. I've awakened the gods. Nothing can stop them. Who are these gods? What did you see when you activated the throne? They are the six. They showed me the end of all things. And it was beautiful. I have to admit, I respected her. For Sith. On the bright side, that power flux knocked out the super weapon's defenses. And killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the super weapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. Too bad Empress Asina checked out before she got to see her plan backfire. We may join her soon enough. You'll never reach the weapon in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. Be safe. Both of you. You too, Commander. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You'll need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, and hope for the best. I've seen two thrones on Iacath, and both were occupied by dead bodies. I don't want to be the third. A Cena cut corners, but you'll be sitting on the real deal. Let's hope that's good enough. Time's running out. Hurry! You're just a machine, stranded on a dead planet and worshipped by a bunch of tin cans. Darkness. Lies. Show me your rage. Calm. Peace. It denies fury. A sacrifice mediocre. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty. Distracted by trust. You did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow. The traitor. You are betrayed. This is all a trick to get my blood boiling. Rage feeds on truth. The betrayer lured you to Iotath, igniting war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you sacrifice pride. You, for the six gods! I'm not an offering. I'm your I'm destroyer. Rage! Sophia, 
Eternal fleet, open fire! Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the superweapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. I almost had to stuff a sock in your mouth. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long, and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne. Just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iokath. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? You're a trained spy, Theron. How do I know you haven't been playing me all along? You're joking, right? If Theron's a suspect, so am I. Then there's Malcolm, Ego, Visla, Satil, the entire Alliance army. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I can't take any more chances. If someone so much as scratches their nose, I want to hear about it. We'll form a surveillance team. Everyone will be considered a suspect. Commander, I knew you'd pull through, and back in fighting shape, no less. I hope you're ready to return to the front lines. Their Empress is dead. Are the Imperials really refusing to surrender? Afraid so. The Imps are dug in and armed to the teeth. Now that Asina's gone, they're more desperate than ever for control of Iokath. They're still desperate to claim the superweapon. If we take it first, they'll have no choice but to surrender. Then that's where we set our sights. But we can't stop there. We need to keep hammering the Empire. Day by day, hour by hour. Only then will we win this war. Now if you'll excuse me, the battlefield's calling my name. I'll see you on the front lines. We'll track his movements, see what he's hiding. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. <laughs> <laughs>